I'm Wayne Coble in Hopewell. Uh, I've been here at Cavalier Square going on about 45 minutes. So I'm gonna flip the camera around, give you guys an idea with, give you as much information as I have about what has happened here at k and Barbecue. So flipping around, uh, we have a lot of lease on scene. It was sometime, I'm told, around seven o'clock that employees here going to work inside the building that four suspects believed to be both men and women mask got into the restaurant i'm told that two employees have been injured but they have refused treatment so they didn't go to the hospital um, hopewell police and the hopewell sheriff's office are all out here they are in mass and I have seen uh, officers going door to door, going to talk to the other businesses in the area. Um, they just brought a dog out, a canine, a tracking dog. So it's now moving around the Cavalier Square area. Um, just about five minutes ago, employees and the owners of KNL uh, I saw went back into the restaurant that had been standing outside. It was indeed a scary situation this morning for them and uh thoughts and prayers to all of them i mean just absolutely a scary moment when four mask suspects come into a restaurant around seven o'clock um i know that uh hopewell police are working on getting out a release with some more information um like i said they, there's there's just been a, a close to a dozen law enforcement officers out here. It's just now beginning to show where some of them are starting to, to leave and or move to other businesses trying to see if they can find one witnesses or two see if they can find any video from other businesses. Um, I did talk to one long, long, well, I mean, Cane Hills, Cane Hill has been here forever. I mean, it is the iconic Hopewell restaurant that people their customers are like family. I talked to one guy, he eats here twice a week with his family, and it's not just for the food, but he says it's, it's this family restaurant and you're like family. And so he was very concerned and upset hearing the news that um, there had been a robbery take place here. Again, you know, preliminary information I'm gaining, I'm gathering, gleaning from sources, trying to get what I can. There's some things that at this point, they do not want released, but we know there were, I'm being told there were four people in the restaurant, four masked suspects, believed to be both male and female, went into the restaurant, that um, two employees were injured, but they refused treatment to go to the hospital. So that, that is good news. It means they were not severely injured. Um, just, I'm sure, just scary, scary times inside that restaurant while, while they are being confronted by those four masked people. Again, there was probably five or six employees and the owners here when I got here. Um, five or six more people showed up. A lot of tears, a lot of hugging, and um, it's gonna take some time for, for them to feel comfortable, that's for sure, uh, with what has happened. Police actively looking for whoever was behind this act, this robbery. If you have any information, you can reach out to the Hopewell police and, uh, and, and give them that information. Uh, just recently, Hopewell police uh, have uh, solved several murders and gotten uh, some pretty serious jail time, prison time for those people. They put out like multiple releases in the last week about the uh, court experience where those people were uh, found guilty and gotten uh, long sentences for crimes they committed here in Hopewell. So that being said, they are actively looking for any information that someone may have. Again, at k &L Barbecue, that is in uh, Cavalier Square here in Hopewell. Uh, if you have been in the Tri-Cities for more than a minute, you are aware of K&L Barbecue and its, uh, its owners and its long-standing history in the community. And uh, it is absolutely an, an iconic restaurant in the Tri-Cities, but specifically for, for Hopewell. And uh, 
they get people from all over who travel to eat here. So the best that information I have is employees coming to work this morning were confronted at some point by four what were believed to be mask suspects, suspects described as both male and female, and that they got in, two people were, were slightly injured. They did not go to the hospital, but were, were injured. And um, police are now trying to figure out where the suspects went to when they left here, what vehicle they were in, They did they leave on foot? They, again, they, I saw one canine that was out with two handlers and uh, was going around the area. I saw um, two police officers literally going door to door to door, talking to people to see if they had, obviously, surveillance video and if they had seen anybody or any vehicle leaving this area at a high rate of speed to try to get that information to find the people that are behind this, uh, this robbery. Again, k &L Barbecue here at Cavalier Square. Um, plenty of people walking around. I can tell you that word is spreading and people are coming by to look and obviously to express some empathy for the people that were inside and, and had to had to bear this as four armed people go inside to rob the restaurant. Um, again, I did, did see the owners here earlier. All the employees have been moved from outside the building to inside the building. I'm sure the police are going over details with them and they need details from you all. I mean, we can't say it enough. If you saw anything that you think was slightly suspicious, in the Cavalier Square area sometime in the seven o'clock-ish range, reach out to the Hopewell Police, give them a call and try to give them as much information. And the, there you see the canine is back from doing his walk, trying to find any evidence, any clues that may lead to the arrest of those involved in what has happened. Again, k &L, everyone knows the owners, everyone, you know, that has been in the area for a while is, is familiar uh, either they know about it or, or they've eating they have eaten here including myself many many times in my 31 years covering news here I've found myself in a booth at k &L. so that's what's going on now I'm waiting for a news release to come out from the police that I'm hoping will have more information and uh, I will relay that to you as soon as I get that information. Thoughts and prayers over to the employees and the owners of KNL. Um, you know, obviously the best scenario that no one was seriously hurt, no one was killed, and that's that's the best scenario that happened. But what everyone needs now is if you saw something, say something, and let the police know what you saw. Any any clue, as the police always say. You may not think it's important, but it could actually be the clue that helps them lead to an arrest. So that's what we got going on. Um, let me look down here and see if there's any questions. It is nonsense. Praying for safety, that's, that, is, that is what everyone needs to do. And I'm just, again, I'm just scrolling through. When I start talking, I just don't look down at that. I eat there too good. Oh, oh so good, yes. Well, Teresa's, that's right too. So again, police, Hopewell Police, Hopewell Sheriff's Office here, a canine here, they're trying to find the four suspects uh, that were masked that went in at opening of the restaurant and uh, robbed or attempted to rob it, the employees. And so, like I said, two, Two people were slightly injured, but refused to go to the hospital, refused to be transported. So, no serious, serious injuries, but obviously, you know, it's, that's, that's something they got to live with, and it's a tough situation. It's tough for the owners who have had their own tragedies in their life in the last few years, too. So, pray for them as well. If I get more information from the police from that release, I'll do another Facebook Live and give you guys a heads up on what's going on. You guys all be safe out there. Have a good weekend. And again, you know, if you see something or saw something, please reach out to Hopewell Police and give them a heads up. Thanks, everyone, for watching. What time was their um, 
a truck crash on Puddle Duck. I don't know about the truck crash on Puddle Duck. I do know that there's been a police car accident in Petersburg, but don't know about Puddle Duck. Everyone have a great day. Thank you. And if you can, please share this so we can get as many eyes on it to uh, try to help out the police and get an arrest.